Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a very cool hover effect using HTML and CSS. So this is the effect, I have a button right here and if I hover over it, as you can see, this effect looks uh, really nice. Uh, before we get started, if you are new here, on this YouTube channel I upload videos with tutorials that will help you become a better web developer so that you can earn more money and live a better life. If you are interested in that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and make sure to also hit the bell notification icon and select all so that you will be notified when I upload future videos. With that said, let's get started. I have an empty folder here on my desktop and I opened it with my text editor which in my case is uh, Visual Studio Code. I'm going to create uh, an index.html file. HTML and uh, a style.css I'm gonna go to the index.html and generate a basic structure I'm gonna change the title to button hover effect I'm gonna link my style.css so style.css and uh, I'm gonna open this with the browser which in my case I'm using Google Chrome now let's start with the HTML which will be very simple I'm just going to create a div with a class of container and inside here an, uh, a link element, so A with a class of BTN add the uh, number sign right here and uh, I'm going to write hover effect ok, let's check it out, as you can see it's right here uh, that is it for the HTML, I told you it was simple now let's move on to the CSS so in the style.css file, let's start with some general styling. I'm going to select everything with the asterisk and uh, remove the margin and padding. So margin 0, padding 0, and set the box sizing property to border box. OK, and uh, I'm going to select the body and give it a background of uh, dark gray, let's say 333. Let's check it out. OK, we have the link right here. Uh, we're going to move it to the center. So I'm going to select the div with a class of container. Container. I'm going to set the position to absolute. Top 50%. Left 50%. And use the transform property and say translate minus 50%, minus 50%. And as you can see, now it's centered. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, so just so we can see better. OK. Now, let's select the button, so .btn. I'm going to give it a position of relative. Um, I'm going to set the display to block. And the uh, overflow hidden. Hidden. Uh, I'm going to give it a color of, let's say, 2A67B8. Okay, a font size of uh, 20 pixels. Let's set the font family to Arial Helvetica Sans Serif. A text decoration, set it to none to remove the underline, as you can see. Um, Let's make it uppercase, so use text transform uppercase. Uh, let's give it a border of uh, 2 pixels solid and use that uh, blue color. And uh, padding, let's set 20% uh, on top and bottom and uh, 70, I mean, uh, sorry, 20 pixels on the top and bottom and 75 pixels on the left and right. And give a transition. So one second, all is. Okay, so far so good. Now I'm gonna make sure to change the, the, the text color to white when I hover it. So let me scroll. Uh, button hover color FFF for white. Let's check it out. Okay. And now I'm gonna select the link, so button. I'm going to use the pseudo selector before and uh, I'm going to set the content to nothing. Uh, background, I'm going to use that blue color. 
and uh, let's give it a position of absolute top 50% left 50% transform translate uh, trans oh I forgot the semicolon here sorry transform translate uh, minus 50% minus 50% and uh, transition all 0 0.5 seconds is let's see uh, nothing yet because um, I need to set the width to 0 and the height to 100% and now BTN uh, hover before set the width to 100% uh, percent. that should do it uh, but now we can see the writing so I need to go right here and give uh, this a Z index of minus 1 and that should do it and as you can see we have the effect you saw in the beginning of the video if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button uh, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video take care